okay, so for uh, two years he came in every day uh, wanting a spot. And I said to him, uh, you know, we really don't have any spots available. And I, I you know, of course we, we did, you know. So uh, I don't know. What, what happened is uh, I'm sitting there with my assistant and I told him, I said, you know, we really need to get a new program. And there he is standing there staring at me with that, you know, that big smile of his. So uh, what else could I do? Cooking for Cannibals. I'm your host, Sven Germanschen Fresher, and I'd love to have you for dinner. Literally. <laughs> I'm not joking! So, uh, you know, when we first decided to put Sven on the air, uh, you know, I made a deal with him. Hold on a second. I can't talk with these. Um, I, I made a deal with him that I was hoping that uh, he would like only be allowed to do this if he had 45, you know, people watching his show every show. And I thought, you know, in the first two minutes this thing was done, he would never have 45 people. Can you, can you believe that he had 45 people watching the show every single show? How did he do that? Through my aunt and uncle's friends and my day job, I was able to get exactly 45 people to leave their televisions on until 4 a.m. I also turned on all the televisions in our house. <laughs> yeah. Today, we will be cooking finger foods. Literally. <laughs> I'm not joking! I immigrated here from Mosin Martel, Germany in the spring of 2001. I now live with my aunt and uncle in Reading, Pennsylvania. I love America. When you are tenderizing your meat, make sure you use the correct ingredients. Human can be very tough, depending upon who you are eating. I'm not joking. I have my meat flown in every week from my hometown of Mosenmato. All the meat is my distant relatives. It is not like I am eating strangers or homeless people. This is people I know and love. This is a recipe that was passed down to me from my mother. We only made it once together when my uncle Sam passed away. It is called Leg of Sam. Yeah, I remember the first time I cooked. It was... I was one and a half years old. Yeah. I was a very early bloomer, yeah. Uh, it was my great-grandfather's left ear. Mm. I was near the deep fryer and I threw it in. It was the most fulfilling experience of my young life. The first time I cooked. Human. Let's take a tour of the kitchen! It is not my kitchen, it is my aunt and uncle's. They have been very generous in letting me use it. This is the stove. Here's the sink. This is where I keep the meat. When I came to America, I found out that cannibalism was a taboo thing. And in Mosenmatel, it is a common, even proper thing to do when one of your relatives dies. It is our way of honoring them. And depending upon how large the person is, you could honor them for three and a half months, at least. My uncle on my mother's side passed away and we honored him for four and a half months. 
For example, one of his calf muscles fed our whole family for a week. But he was a very large man. I wanted to spread the holy act of cannibalism throughout America. So when did Svenja first start getting fan mail? Oh yes, the letters. Well, he never actually got any fan mail at all. Um, and then he, he went into this depression.